I'd be using VCO1 and VCO2. The level is controlled by these two knobs here, VCO1 and VCO2. Uh, also VCO cross mod, cross modulation, or VCO X mod. This knob here controls how much VCO1's output modulates VCO2's pitch. In combination, I'm going to be using um, envelope 2 as well. Um, envelope 2 is going to be sent to uh, filter cutoff and to VCO1 and VCO2's pitch. So it'll modulate both filter cutoff and VCO1 and 2 pitch. And we're going to be using a little bit of high resonance. That's VCO1. VCO2. Turn on VCO1 and then modulate VCO2's pitch with VCO1's output. This switch here is the VCA on switch and the gate on switch. It has two positions and a center off position. VCA on just gives you infinite decay on the VCA as long as the gate is held open. You see we're in keyboard mode here. As opposed to normal gate mode where VCA decay is determined by that guy VCA on or gate on I'm sorry gate on just keeps the gate open all the time it's useful for a lot of things also as well as playing uh, from an external keyboard or playing through the uh, filter input on it from an external keyboard. What we're going to do here is keep the gate open. Use envelope 2 to modulate cutoff frequency. You can see that we've got a long attack and a long decay there. This button over here is the momentary gate retrigger or gate retrigger button. It retriggers envelope 2 as well as the regular filter envelope of the Zox box. Let's see if I uh, short attack and decay. I'm just getting through triggering it manually. You can do that anytime. Gate on. Should max those out. Attack and decay. Some pitch modulation. Modulating the filter and the pitch of VCO1 and 2 there. We were only using VCO2. There's VCO1 there. Well, let's now modulate VCO2 at VCO1's output.